Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the sec fourth episode of What's in the Air. So we'll just head on to the news without wasting time. So let's go ahead and get started. First news is Air Asia Japan filed for bankruptcy on 17th November, listing about US $208 million in liabilities and becoming the first airline in Japan to fail due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the near total shutdown of aviation in many places. The move comes after budget carriers Malaysian parent Air Asia cut off aid to the Japanese joint venture. The filing was said to have left more than 23,000 customers without refunds for cancelled flight. Air Asia says it will pr provide credits that can be used for international flights on the group airlines and said it plans to seek aid from shareholders in addition to Air Asia. Investors include Japanese e commerce group Rakuten uh, Health and Beauty Products, maker no Noever Holdings, and sporting goods store operator. Alpen Air Asia Japan is the only airline in, in the country with its hub at the Nagoya area's Shubu Centraire International Airport. Before halting flights, the airline operated domestic routes to Sapporo, Sendai, and uh, uh, Fukuoka, as well as international route to the Taiwanese city of Taipei. So the second news is that Pion Air, a privately owned Sydney-based ACMI and chartered airline has purchased E190-100 LR, the 9-year-old aircraft with callsign VH-SEF and named Cinderella is due to Bankstown on 24th November 2020. It will be followed by additional aircraft during 2021. Pine Air's EVA 90 has a maximum seating capacity of 112 seats in a single class arrangement. It, its double bubble fuselage concept maximizes personal space in the Emperor's signature 2x2 seating. The spaciousness of the cabin allows the installation of wider seats and wider aisle compared to the much most larger jets. In addition to a 2 meter high cabin, the E-Jets family of aircraft which includes the E-190 are flying in the fleet of uh, more than 80 customers in some 50 countries. The E-190 adds to the 8 B BAE-146 cargo and passenger flight aircraft Con con currently owned and operated by Payun Air. And guys, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. So the third news is that long-haul carrier Airjust X said on 19th November that its quarter loss deepened uh, as revenue was hit due to the rapid decline in international travel because of the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> it said that. It was continuing to restructure the company and to raise new funding to survive. The company reported a net loss of RM308.5 million US $74.73 million for quarter ended in September, up from net loss of RM229.9 million a year. Revenue dropped 94%. To 59.9 million. It said in a bourse filling the arm of Air Asia Group has taken air travel ground almost uh, to a halt in the past few months, hit by border curbs to control the spread of COVID 19. In October, it proposed a major restructuring, restructuring seeking to reconstitute rupees. Uh, sorry, $15.3 billion of unsecured debt into a principal amount of RM200 million 
and waive the rest in order to avoid liquidation. Ereja X in talks with a financial institute to secure a government guaranteed loan of up to RM 500 million, it said in its filing. So, the fourth news is that Air Astana will begin operations to Maldives twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday from 5 December, from 5th December, and additionally on Mondays from 21st December. Flights will be operated by Airbus A321LR aircraft configured with the 16 business class seats and 150 economy seats. The light flat business class seats are equipped with 16 inch individual entertainment screen with 4 of 16 seats offering additional personal space in economy class the Recaro seats provide increased comfort for long flights and are equipped with individual 10 inch screens due to high demand during seasonal holidays from 16th December to 16th January flights flights will be operated by Boeing 767 aircraft providing additional seat capacity after online application entrance visas to the Maldives are issued free of charge upon arrival at the airport and are valid for 30 days from the date of receipt the entry requirements to the Republic of Maldives includes mandatory PCR test certificate in English with a negative result. Certificate should be valid for 96 hours from the moment of talk taking the test till the scheduled flight arrival time. Infants under the age of 12 months exempt from this test. So the fifth news is that Garuda a, a approves bond sale shareholders of Garuda Indonesia the country's flagship carrier on 20th November approved the issuance of 8.5 trillion rupiah the US 600 million in bonds the issuance part of the government is to rescue for the airline the bonds will be purchased by finance ministry through Sarana multi infrastructure a state owned investment firm for financing and preparing in 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 infrastructure prog projects the bonds will be mandatory convertible bonds with a tenure of seven years meaning that after uh, that period they will con be converted to stocks proceeds will be used to support the company liquidity and solvency of the company CEO Irfan Sitiaputra said at a news conference with the shareholders meeting with the aim of improving financial position because of the company already negative networking capital has liabilities exceeding 80% of its assets the CEO added that he hoped the bond issuance can encourage faster recovery in the aviation industry which can uh, help the national economic recovery if all 8.5 trillion rupiah worth of bonds converted to shares the government will increase its holdings in the company to 76.99% from the current 60.54% so guys that's all for today's video uh, this video has been longer than before because it has slightly more content so i hope you all enjoyed please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye